It's the first ride of Mansory 650 HP. Hello guys, today we have a long awaited video about Givagen 650 HP by Mansory, which was painted by Linux. It's a very expensive and awaited project. Finally, we got the main pairs with the GR Rato 5.15, so I'm going to tell and show you everything. That's them, the long awaited main pairs for our Mansory. With the GR Rato, Axel will be 5.5. Let's see how they look like. For the first look, they are not bad. As I see, they was made in neatly and pretty good, but I'm confused that the places which for work are not glossy. Because that pair which we got from another manufacturer was quite better than this, and it was also black. It was a heat treatment or something like that, I'm not sure at all. These ones are look like they were sandblasted. We are going to carry it for installation, so we will ask a professional about its regulation. A level of noise is very important to us. Also, we will check shavings on magnets after some millage. We have one kit for three axles. This is a middle axle, you can see the gear teeth uh, where we will install the gear, which will give rotation for the last axle. We have two kits here, another one we gave to manufacturer for analyzing a hundreds of metal. It pierces it or something like that. I am not good in things like that, so they measure in some units. For example, we know the original ones with GRATO 10.5, it would be interesting to compare the hardest of self maiden ones and the original ones. So, guys, we are going to write for replacing the main pair. We brought with us three reduction gears. Before we will go to the specialist, we will have gun for sand blessing to remove old paint from reduction gears. So, we won't make it dirty because it would be impossible to sand blast it after the specialist will configure the gun gaps and you to see. Finally, we have made those selective footboards which help you to enter the cabin. I said that there were some problems with control unit, but we understood how it works and we connected it. So it is working excellent now. Let it show you. I think it is good, isn't it? It will be much easier to enter the cabin. Let's see how it will be working for 8 people in the rear part of the body. So, this is footboard. It's really a good device, really good. Trunk is too high, so it will be hard for hunters to enter. Trunk can carry to 8 people. Let's see how it works. So, height of automobile is something like that. Maybe it's a little bit higher. It's standard height. While you are entering, you need to take hold here. It's really comfortable. Let's see how it opens and closes. It's beautiful. It's almost unseen and quite high. All is good, it's like a little rear spoiler. I am sure the client will... We solved the problem of seats in the rear body. It took big amount of time. I suit up, it will be easy, we suit up that uh, we just need to put two seats and other them, but it is so long. The main problem was in seeking up the way how we can do it without welding. We couldn't do it, do it to Linux. So we didn't want to make hole in it. We suit up that it connected to this plank. This plank is good hard seat and connected with stainless self-tapping screws uh, through the sailing to floor. So places where holes are with uh, Sailing. There won't be any problems, I suppose. Obviously, we will paint the holes, cover it by fats and use aluminium reels. Of course, little parts of rivets will be noticeable in the down of the weld. We will cover it with some sealing silent, so it will be unseen and protected. This construction had been sandblasted and painted with powder. You may want to ask me about the diligence which is I make to this project. You can see the open air back body here, so after a rainy day it would be full with rust. As you can see, all holes are already drilled. We made and powder painted only after it. Finally, guys, we have finished setting of the plank in the real body. 
I want to tell you how we connected it. Firstly, I want to say that holes we did were for soft tapping screws. They are made of stainless steel. We did the tops are not notable and it won't break in the future. And during we were making holes in the body, we put here two layers of sieving silent, so while plank will be pressed, like now the silent will be flattened, so the holes will be full of it. So, even if there are some moisture, it won't get into the holes, so there won't be any rust. I suppose it's not bad. The plan can't scare to buy sunshine or rain or snow. I got a little bit more work here. I needed to find a faster for space and made it here good. I consider it will be really good. Let's wait to the end and see them. This is our rear axle. The suspension is assembled and shock absorbers are installed. We haven't done with the piston rods yet. They are wrapped in scotch tape and placed there because shock absorbers are brought for an enormous bunch of money. We can't be careless with them. We don't do any welding around them, but it would be better if they are protected. We spent a lot of time with breakers. All metal pipes are new from the beginning to the end. The breakers houses are new too. Breather pipe was made. You know what breather pipe? means, don't you? Every axle must have breather pipe. All of them need lots of time due to they are new. So we came to the point when side reduction gears can be gone through. Let's go work. These are our final drives. They are the most precious element which can be in the G Wagon. This is clearance, there are big wheels, this is power. Our final drives are all new and after an inspection. We made the inspection before, it's a video for our client, to assure him in newness of it. There is no deception, all was made in according to original one. They are robbed right now. We are going to prime faceplate, also we will paint it by black polyurethane paint and start installing on axles.
We have taken our reduction jeers from specialists who made the main ones. What did he say about settings? He said that they were generally good, but it was quite hard to set them properly. There were some problems with micro washers. In general, he set them. So there is some good points uh, that he fully disassembled reduction jeers. So we got an opportunity to sandblast and paint it by powder. We don't usually do it because there are lots of bearings and I don't like when they are heated. Due to some problems can be caused. The only minus is that we need to take chamfer from main pair because they didn't fit properly. I don't understand how producer could let it happen, but it is not a problem. We took it to the turner and he solved this problem in half of hour. It was a half of millimeter and they put it properly. Then the reduction gears are fully washed and prepared. Stuffing boxes are all new in stacks. We're going to wind crank cases due to dust and start the final assembly. So, it's time to clean and make our gimbal good. He is original from Volvo Lapander. The condition is just brilliant. We checked axles and their mileage is about 10 to 20 thousand kilometers, it's nothing. But due to they are in oil and old paint, we need to make them thick and span. So, we are going to clean it off, prime with epoxy and paint it by black polyethane paint. Then, we will lubricate cross piece and slin it part and it will look like a new one.
So guys, we are going to connect logins. We have some good news, cause we connected it with the original button, so this is a real login. We made that the two back axles will connect and the two locking will turn on in a moment by this button. The middle one is like manufacturing one. When you tap the last two buttons like up, vacuum and locking turns on. I am sure this will be success if it working right now. We will have continued it for 15 minutes. So if all is normal, it will be success. I am going to show you the way which kills our time. I think Linux is very good paint. Personally, I like it very much, but I don't advise you to use it on Jwagen's moldings. Because the problem I am going to show. You have seen that it's not very nice that connected part of modding isn't smooth too much. It's like a wave. So we're going to put off moddings and trying to reject Linux by sandpaper to make it smooth as possible. Cause these waves are not something we can ignore. You will agree that after putting lots of feelings in the car to ignore moddings is not about normal. Who will be guilty? Of course Sanya and his business. So guys, we defeated the Linux. A guy have been sandpapered it since two days ago, to make connection parts of modems perfectly smooth. I showed you the consequences of painting. So we spent two days around the Gringer. It's really a hard piece of work to reject hard material like Linux. It's very hard. <laughs> So guys, the cabin has arrived. You remember that we packed it really carefully in previous videos. We are going to make a short dry cleaning and start the assembly. We have assembled, cleaned and vacuumed the cabin. We made it beautiful. Then uh, we are going to regulate all the doors. Tighten the door, check the handles, locks, staples of the doors, make no gaps. Make all lines smooth. Let's start.
линии должны быть ровно. Начнем. After I rejected gaps, tightened hangers, uh, checked them all, the doors became tighter and closed. Because it's better not to paint some components by Linux. It makes them thicker, but the sealant is made for another settings. So we need to close it with more power. It's not a disaster, but it's a little bit harder. So guys, the day of the first test drive has come. We had some little problems connected with work. We were trying to start the G-Wagon, but it was the of doing it. With through we made something wrong in the electricity, but we checked all and there weren't any problem. The problem was in fact that our electricians extended all wires, which goes to the rear part, including KBS and something in rear cabin that isn't there now. The one feature is that there was a regulator which doesn't exist in diesel 5 liter autos. We found it and connected and it started. We didn't do any Anything behind the times. Like our electrician said, Sanya just connected directly by two wires. I said, no, we will do everything like in the original ones. Just like I like. Generally, we are going to have a ride, it will be the first steps of the G-Wagon, but we needed to solve the problem with spacers in the rear part. From the side it looks bad, but I assure you that there will be spaces in the future. They are not big, but they need to be. Then the height of the G-Wagon isn't like in the original height. He is a little bit higher, so the axles are slightly moved, because we made them like in the original. You know that the height must be as similar to original as possible for normal position of axle, to the frame. Let's go. It's the first ride of Mansory 650 HP. So guys, it was the first ride. I want to share my impressions about it. The engine is real crazy. He makes car to drive in like toy way. Even if I speed up a little, all six wheels are tanned. All we need to do is regulate suspension in its height. But it will be easy. Set wheel spacers, they're not big, but required to be, and finish seven of rear seats. After it, we will have a normal test drive. So, I'm going to finish the video. Don't forget to subscribe and check if your bell is work. Goodbye.